What is up guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a sparkler in Roblox Studio. By the way, if you don't know how to get Roblox Studio, I have a link down below in the description. Unfortunately, you are not able to get Roblox Studio on mobile, only on PC. So, I just showed you how to um, open the Mansion of Wanda. So, that is how you create the Mansion of Wanda. Wonder. Now, the next thing you can do is create a sparkler. So I have a link to the um. So I have a link to the uh, item down below in the description. But basically, uh, this is, go to your, my models, once you get it, click sparkler set, and then here are the sparklers. So I'm gonna, which one should I use? I think I'll use this one for this tutorial, but you could use whichever one you want, or you could do all. Now, uh, there's more to make this sparkler, like you could have it. In your inventory in the game so characters can equip it in the game it will have a nice sparkle effect so first of all yeah we went through that yep went through that went through that and uh, now make sure the left drop down is set to my mom yeah 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 got all that so okay Okay, so create the particle. So the first thing you have to do is go view explorer and just open this tool, go into handle, go into attachment, and there's the sparkle. So now, uh, yep, so then select this. And to change the texture, all the textures that Roblox gave will be linked down below in the description. But I think the texture I'll use for this one is probably, um, I'm gonna use uh, this one. So all these um, IDs will be linked down below in the description. So how do you get it in? You click Central V like that. You click enter and it changes the particle effect now it might not change it for you because because you might have picked the same one as it already was all right so the next one um our next one you can do it says you can change the color so you can change the color of the particle effect i want a nice uh yellow particle effect as you can see now it's yellow and uh, now create a color gradient now each arrow on the color okay I think to get this you have to click this yep and then you can uh, adjust the color right um, yeah you can adjust it like that and um, and I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, am I stuck here? Yeah, okay. Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh, I think we have to go, like, right over here. And then close, right? I don't know about that one. Um, let me see what it says here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, yep. Got it. Alright. Changing a color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Um, so it says to add a color. I click on the color sequence. Okay. So, I think... Um... Yeah, you could change the speed of it. So you can go change the speed of it. 
by, I think you can... Yeah, you could change the speed, I think. Yeah, you could change the speed right over here. Change it to whatever you want. I'm gonna change it to 1. And, uh... I'm gonna click close to confirm. I think that did something. Yeah, um... So the next thing you gotta do... You have to go in the explorer. Find the tool of your choice. This is my choice. And then... You gotta, um, you gotta, uh, cl right click and click the top option cut. It might not be the top option for you. Just do it for cut. And then you have to go into s select starter pack, click paste into. And then, um, now you can go test it. And check this. Stop game is the red button, the red square above here by the play button that I So now what you could do, you could click file, you could click publish your own box and title your game, click create and um, then it will successfully publish your game and then you could go to create on the Roblox page and um, you will see your game there. And that's the end of this video. Bye and as always. Just